do because as a CCNA you know how to do ERGRP and if we look here we can see it's ERGRP 30 now I'll be honest I actually forgot to put this on <laughs> right, EI oops that was to be in config mode I don't think they're going to leave the entire configuration off a router on the exam but it is a possibility router EIGRP 30 two networks attached to router A 192.168.1.0 and network 192.168.2.0 now we should see some adjacencies form and we can it's formed an adjacency with the next door neighbor while we're on this router show IP route okay so we can see all the way up to the 10.0.0.8 network now remember it's very important if we go back to steps troubleshooting review the topology and the protocols what's going on with the RGRP and what does it do automatically it will summarize at major network boundaries uh, so if we've got the 10 network I'll just tidy this up a little bit so we've got 10 network here I'll choose a different color slash 30 and the 10 network here which is a slash 30 but EIGRP summarizes the major network boundaries so it will be seen as a slash 8 so we've proved ourselves all the way up to here because it's showing the 10 network we're not sure if we're okay over this side so we can basically happy here we're happy here we're happy here let's go into router C and see if we can reach router D we do a show IP interface brief the connection between um, C and D seems okay the interface is up let me see if I can ping um, 10.0.1.6 so I can ping okay but I can't see if I do a show IP route okay I can't see the network we're missing the network 172.16.1.0 that's connected to router D so I'll nearly always go to the source of the problem if I can reach that far across show IP interface brief is that interface up well we know it's connected to the Ethernet Ethernet 172.16.1.1 well that looks fine so let's go to the show commands we don't need to worry about show controllers for fast Ethernet we've done the show IP interface brief the encapsulation well that's uh, we're looking at an Ethernet connection the IP address looks correct so let's look at show IP protocols on router D show IP prot for protocols and here's a sneaky little thing they'll do in the exam or could do EIGRP20 what does our network say is EIGRP30 it won't form an adjacency if it's got a different autonomous system so it's advertising the right protocols because we've got a 10 network and a 172 network no router EIGRP20 we want to get rid of that router EIGRP20 network 10 EIGRP will work out looking at the interface what it needs to advertise if we need to turn off auto summary network 172.16 there All right, sorry, slight error on my part. If you saw me typing it, I typed EIGRP20 again, which was daft. So 
I've just corrected that. Show IP protocols on router D. It's ERGRP30. Took me a while to find that because I thought I'd actually typed it out correctly. But it shows even I can make mistakes. So we've got the right networks attached here. And if we do a show IP route here, we can see all the way down the 10 network, our own network, the 192.168.1 network and the 192.168.2 network. So this is the very end network where our PC is. So I'm happy now if we go back here from router D, we can see here, 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 here and this network here. So we should be able to go on to this PC here and ping all the way across. I'll just choose another colour, let's get an orange. We should be able to ping from here, go all the way across the network, reach this PC and obviously then the reply come back. The end of the thing is if you're on a live network you may need a default gateway on the switch. And one thing I would forgot to put on the PC is the default gateway as well. You shouldn't really need to worry about this in the exam, but it's just something that you want to keep in mind. So let me go onto this PC down here and I'm going to ping 172.16.1.2. Okay, so I ping 172.16.1.2, which is going all the way across our network. And there we can see we've got a reply. So I'm happy with that. I just want to cover what we've done here. Um, we reviewed the network. We made sure we were aware that we're using ERGRP. Things you know about ERGRP is it summarizes at major network boundaries. If we'd wanted to turn off auto summary to get this network to work, we type no, no auto summary on all the routers. We then initiated our troubleshooting. Layer one at the physical, layer two encapsulations layer 3 IP address and subnet mask and layer 4 routing tables. I'm just going over here, um, if you can do a print screen, these are the main commands that we used. I don't don't think there's anything else there that we used, but um, we'll go back to our network, looking like a bit of a mess now actually. Alright, so this is what we've covered at the moment. We've done the troubleshooting for the CCNA exam. I should really troubleshoot my spelling as well, but it's already on there. Troubleshooting outline, so we've talked about a sort of general outline of troubleshooting. How handy it is to use the OSI, although you may hate learning about the OSI model. It's quite handy to use for troubleshooting at least. And then using the show commands so we can drill down, so we can do layers 1, 2, 3, 4, and we know which commands to use for each of these layers and then we can quickly, as we tick off these layers, we'll eventually get to a point where our whole network's working. So I hope that's been useful to you and um, I'll see you on the next video.